Dick, you can forget that first round win. These coaches have to tell their kids it's one and done in this second round game between the USC Trojans and the Marquette Golden Eagles. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Golden Eagles are prepared to fight tooth and nail in this one, Dick. What are the keys to victory? If I'm their coach, the keys would be these. Number one, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. Next, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Well, that stat at the end could be a big one. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Both teams looking to get things going here. Now trying to feed the low block. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Trying to feed the low block. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Shoots from outside. Barry was a highly talented recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound to build. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Perfectly executed. They go into the low block. Tries for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Danielson is feeling great right now. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Takes away the pass. On the outside. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He goes for three. That was nice. This is worth the second look. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. The ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Buried it. That one's definitely worth a second look, Brad. Down inside. A little frustration right there. He keeps his dribble as they reset. For two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Here's a double team. Steal. And he'll kick it back outside. Working it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us.
The center with the ball. Steals the ball. He gets up the floor on the break. Questionable call there, Dick. That's one of those balls that can go either way. Here it is. Danielson steps to the line for the first time. He can't buy one. Good rebound position. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Get that sucker out of the game, man. USC have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Jumps in. Gets it to go. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. For the bucket. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Stolen away. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He blocks the shot. Great shot block right there. He had some good movement on the offensive side. There he is, strips the ball loose. And the slam. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. That has some folks out of their seats. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. On the inside, he does the sweet fake shot. Goes up for two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Tries for two. They still don't score. And a slam. On the dribble, gives it up. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Dick, he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Marquette are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, now to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Got it. And one too many dribbles and a steal. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. up with his man and down he goes. Hey Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't throw that, baby. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad.
Takes the pass in the paint. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. With the free one. Got to make the freebies. The point guard gets the pass. He puts up the three ball. It's good. Gave it up on the inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Now they work it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And he scores despite the hat. the dribble gives it up jumped in front to take it away gave it up here's a nice face up down on the low block oh he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket They're working around the perimeter picks off the pass for two they are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Here they go into transition. High post flasher is open. Let's it fly. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot for the bucket he drains it they scored 10 in a row In anticipation defensively. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. That's a 12 nothing run. Looking for the foul, and he scores it off the glass. a great move to draw the foul. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. Gets the first shot. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. The center takes the feed. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. 
Marquette are in a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Pushes it up. The shooting guard gets the ball. From right in the circle. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. The center takes the pass. He's got a nice shot fake. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. High post screen. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. Up and in. The replay reveals the deal, baby. On the outside, Foster pump fakes. Lobs it inside. Puts it up, looking for contact. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Look at that spacing. He pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Basket falls despite the contact. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. He shoots from left to the circle. The Trojans have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. In the paint. Good fake. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. For two, can't get the shot to go. Makes it. Miss Q on that double team. Things better come together quickly, Brad. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. The Golden Eagles have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Gave it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and a momentary look from three-point land. Intercepted on the dribble, gives it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Up and inside. Steals the pass. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Trying to draw some contact. 
Marquette have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Got some room. He puts up the tray. Drains the shot. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Picked off. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. And the jam. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, yes. Working it around the perimeter. Tries a three. USC are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Hey, Brown, a stop here will definitely raise the decimal level. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Bucket perfectly executed. Take another look at that play. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. High post player flashing. Lobs it. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Goes up for two. It sticks. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They move it into the front court. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Look at that spacing. He attempts the trifecta. You betcha. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. 
at the end of the first half. The Golden Eagles lead by nine. Nick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. Watch here. Having the ball inside like you see. In this highlight, we'll take a lot out of a team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Marquette really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. At the free throw line. Just like in practice. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball or let him try to beat us. They work the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Dumps it in for two. I tell you, once you get a deep position like that, it's automatic. Looking for a good shot. Launches the three. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. Handles the pass. That was nice. Now work it around the arc. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The fake. Here's a double team. Takes it off him. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot here they come now on a turtle he hacked him you start comparing these backcourts dick what are your impressions so far you know well for me brad good guard play will take you a long ways if you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Second shot is good. despite the hack. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. And so is the defense, and they do a nice job. There's the fake. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. There's a double team waiting there. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Mm -hmm. 
The power forward receives the pass. Strips the ball. And back they come the other way. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. They work it back to the outside. The small forward handles the feed. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Owen receives the ball. Makes the block. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. Man. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? In and out. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft is down bit, fading away, passing the block. Controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Leans in. That was nice. Working it around the perimeter. For two. Perfectly executed. Up and inside. On the outside. Has a nice look at the basket. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He'll visit the charity strike. First one is good. Second shot is no good. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. And a momentary look from three-point land. There they come with a double team to stop it. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nessler. Horrible shot selection. Marquette are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Looking for a good shot. Unloads a three. Questionable shot selection there. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Worth the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Look at that spacing. Jumped in front to take it away. Fake. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Take it away. Oh. 
He shoots from the baseline. Great shot. The Trojans are trailing by 18. Ricks. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. One shot. Sinks it. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Double team now, Matt Angle. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Basket falls despite the contact. Gave it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. He's open if he wants the shot. He shoots from the angle. Way off target. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's bluffing, baby. With the fake. Steal. Fast break possibility coming. Goes up for two. Barry was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully, he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Pressure that basketball. Oh, what a strip, Red. They get it out into transition. Great shot. Great defense. They'll work it around the arc. Nice fake. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Picks off the pass. Goes up for two. In and out. the perimeter. Robs him of the ball. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic, and they want that stopped before any further damage is done. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The dribble gives it up, fakes it for two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? For the deuce and off the mark. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, 
Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gave it up. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Jumps in. Easy one. Here's the toss back out from the pup. He rejects it. USC is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. On the dribble, gives it up. From the top of the key, he gets the bucket. For the bucket, in and out. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. There's the pick. Moving it around the perimeter. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. For two, he shows the sweet touch. Cue the rewind button, boys. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Working it around the perimeter. On the outside. For the deuce. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. They work it around the perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area of blocks it. What an unbelievable play, rotating over. He lets it go. Rims out. That's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Gave it up. He pump fakes. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. USC are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. As it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. 
That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Tries for two. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Nice little jam right there, the one-hand jam and stuff. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He comes away with it. This place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. For two. I'll tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Picked off. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He throws it up from downtown. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arm. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, thanks, Aaron. Back to the action now in the half court. Let's see what they set up there. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. This could be exciting. He takes it away. It's good. He drew the foul off the hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. Look out. He's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. Latagona goes to the line for the first time. No doubt. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Big time screen set on the defender that time. Defense giving no room. The ball goes out of play. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. We're going to move it around the perimeter. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. They have to foul in order to stop the block, Brad. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And we'll go to the free throw line. 
Makes the front end of the one and one. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Second shot, good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. We get ready to bounce back into action here. A lot of time to go now, Dick, on a seven-point lead. That's right, Brad. A lot of time. They don't need to start forcing shots. Cross court. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Owen is carrying his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, no, when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their teams. He hits it. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. No rebounding that. A bucket here will make this a two-possession game. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Makes his second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. Rims out. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But you know, you got to win it. Keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, oh, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Trojans graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.